the 15th chapter. And when you have it, please say, I got it. And it reads, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bear much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples and this is the word of God and if I was to put a message on this it would be get connected get connected we live in a day and age where we are connected more than ever with wireless internet, Facebook, Twitter, and smartphones. And even texting allows us to connect to one another. You can even tour another country and you can get answers to almost anything in a matter of seconds. My Lord, my Lord. If you're connected. Yes, God. But God's word, now from God's word, we can see another very important connection that we need. God uses a low-tech illustration from nature to describe this life-saving, life-giving connection to Jesus. All right. He describes our relationship with Jesus with the relationship that branches have with the vine. All right. And I need you to understand how important each part of the illustration relates to our lives. Amen. Amen. Now in verses 1, 2, 3, I'll be reading it again. It says, Abide in me, and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Um, mm, I'm sorry. Oh. Take your time, Devil is a lie. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken. Okay. Now, think about how important the relationship between a branch and a vine is. It's really a matter of life or death. All right, all right. As long as the branch is connected to the vine, uh -huh. it will live. Right, 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 right. right. But as it. soon as it is cut off, or removed from the vine, uh -huh. it dies. Yes, my God, my God, my God. 
The vine is the source of life. It's the vine that carries the vital nutrients that the branch needs to live. Without it, it cannot live. That's just like a, a woman who's expecting. My Lord, she's expecting a baby, and that baby is connected to her with through the Philippian two. In order for this baby to live or to grow, whatever the mother feeds herself, it goes to that baby. All right, then. That's it. That's it. So in order for the baby to grow up healthy, hallelujah, and to get the nutrients that it needs, the mother has to treat herself, the, the mother has to eat everything, do everything that the doctor tells her to All do right, in order for the baby to grow yeah. and be healthy yeah. in time to come forth. And that's what God is saying to us. Right. How is it that we don't eat or don't drink or stay connected to a source of life. My God, my God. But instead we connect to this and we connect to that. Yeah, right, 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 and right. this and that yeah, is Lord, not giving us the life that we need. Right, Amen. Right, good, good, good. That was good. Oh, Amen. Now, That's it. Jesus makes a distinction between two kinds of pruning. All right. One is separating and the other is cutting back branches. Uh -huh. Now, fruitful branches are cut back to promote growth. If anybody, you know, you know, do any gardening or anything of that sort, um, you have to prune your branches sometimes because weeds, you know, and all that grow around your branch and it, it will wound up killing your plant. Amen. Okay. In other words, God must sometimes discipline us to strengthen our character and faith. Hebrew 12 and 6 says, For whom the Lord loves, he chastens. God wants to strengthen us in areas where we are weak. Right, 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 right. He wants us to experience that abundant life at its very best. All right. But you will not experience the best that God has for you if you are not connected. Right, right. 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 You cannot ask God for this and ask God for that and you're not connected to the main source. That's it. That's the it. main source, which is Jesus. Jesus. You cannot, you, you, God says he wants to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. That's it. But the only way that you can have an abundant life is that you got to get connected to the vine that is life in order to get what you desire because you can't get it anyway unless you go through that vine. Come on now, say it so. I know you know it. Say it. Now, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now, but now branches that don't bear fruit, and this <laughs> people ain't gonna like me after this, but that's okay. Preach, right? But branches that don't bear fruit are cut off at the trunk mm -hmm. because not only are they worthless, they often infect the rest of the tree. Yeah. Right. Right. Listen, that's it. That's it. That's it. people who won't bear fruit for God or who try to block efforts of God's followers will be cut off from his life giving power. You know, you, you, you know, the word will be going forth, and I'm not saying it's in Miracle Church, but you have been in some churches, and I'm almost sure you have, where the word is going forth, the life is going forth. And they are texting, 
people are texting on the phone, or, or someone is really into the word, and someone will tap them on the shoulder to talk about something that's not, not has nothing to do with what the word of God says. They are a hindrance. And God says, when he said he will cut them off, he cuts them off at the trunk. He don't cut them halfway. He cut them off at the trunk. And when he cuts you off at the trunk, there is no life. That's it. That's it. You're worthless. That's it. Amen. You're worthless. You're a hindrance. God is not going to allow anyone who is really have a sincere uh, focus uh, a sincere heart in getting everything that they can from this vine. My Lord. He will not allow anyone to interfere or be a hindrance for that person in order to grow. This person is hungry. This person is thirsty. You know, for um, the word of God, they want everything that Jesus is telling them. And there's this other person who will get up in the middle. While the word is being preached and do this, what does this mean? I don't know what that means. Come on, you know, because you know the word is going forth. Yeah. You you know what that Jesus, the Holy Spirit, He is getting ready to speak. You could have did all that before. So you're missing out on your nourishment, your your nutrients. You're missing out. So therefore, you had you should not want to hinder or uh, take away the focus of someone who is really trying to be fed. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, verses 4 through 6, and it says, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. That's it. My Lord. That's it. My Lord. Nothing. Jesus. And six. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire. And they are burned. In remaining in Christ, we need to know some things. First, you must believe that he is God's son. First John 4 and 15 says, if anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them, and they in God. Know who you are connected to. Amen. That's it. That's the only way that you um, will come to the knowledge of believing that Jesus is the Son of the living God is right. that you got to be connected. Yeah. Second, receive him as Savior and Lord. This man has done so much. He gave his life. You couldn't take the beatings that he took. Oh, Jesus, use me, Holy Ghost. You could not bear the crown of thorns that he bare. You couldn't deal with the piercing in the side. You couldn't deal with the nails in your hands and in your feet. That's it. My God, my God. Hallelujah. He loves us so much yes, that yes. he took on all that so that you could connect to him. That's it. Get all your, your life. So he gave us a very good of example of true love. Yeah. My Lord, my Lord, That's my Lord. True love. Hallelujah. And we won't find it here. Come on now, but we will find it in the vine. Come on now, my God, my so God. get connected. Come on, yeah. connected. Third, do 
what God says. <laughs> do what he says. Amen. Just do what he says. That's it. Nothing else. Do what he says. He has a work for you to do, so do it. Do it. In order to do what God says, you've got to hear his voice. And to hear his voice, you've got to get connected. Yes. John 14 and 6 says, I am the way, yes. and the truth, yes. and the life. Yes. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yes. So the only way that you're going to get anything that you need yes. Yes. is you got to get connected to the vine to get what you need from the gardener, yes. which is God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's why we as God's church need to connect to the vine, which is Jesus Christ. And in doing so, we will begin to bear the fruit that God desires for us to have. You know the fruits, y'all. Love. Joy. Peace. Patience. Kindness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Gentleness. And most of all, Self-control. And I know it takes a lot to have self-control. Because even in the church, you want to lose it. I know I'm right. Because even in the church, you say, Lord, please hold my tongue. Lord, forgive me for that thought I just did. Uh, Father God, yeah, I spoke to her, but she didn't speak back to me. But Lord, please, Lord, lead and guide me. Right, Holy right. Spirit, right on my tongue. Yes, yes, yes. My Lord, my Lord. Self-control. Yes, Lord. And as you connect to Jesus, guess what, y'all? You can love others in your life with, with patience when they try you. Somebody say, get connected. Because the only way that you ever going to deal with anybody is that you got to be connected. Because the only way that you're going to deal with someone who's plucking your very last nerve, whether it be at work, whether it be in the church, whether it be at home, oh, hallelujah, in yeah. relationship, you got to be connected. Stay connected. You can be kind to those who are out to get you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know that co-worker be trying to, you know, go back to the boss, you know, because they trying to go on the boss side and, you know, talk all matter of mess about you to, you know, try to get you in trouble or, or even uh, jealousy in the family. Jealousy in the family and, and, and so-called friends who say they're your friends as soon as you turn your back. It's Turn your back. They stab you in your back. Hallelujah. 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 But God will make you, if you, when you're connected to Jesus, when you're connected to the mind, uh -huh. you will be kind to that person, oh, knowing that that person oh, don't God. like you, knowing that that person oh, talked about you, oh, knowing that that person oh, lied on you, oh, knowing that that person oh, stole oh, from you, oh, knowing that that person has oh, no. That's it. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That's it. Oh, Lord. Who hurt you? Oh yeah. Yes. As God's forgiveness lives in you. Yes. My Lord, my Lord, my and Lord. And the only way that you're gonna have a forgiving spirit, your relationship has got to be so intimate. Mm. Come on, right, 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 right. 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 Yes. 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 It has got to be so intimate. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
that you know that you know that you know well, that's it. that you got to pour out what was drawn in you. My Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't if you mm, Lord. Come on, you can't say that you forgive someone then turn around and talk about it. Well, that's right. Right. You can't say that you forgive someone and you go around, get on the phone, start gossiping right after church. Oh, oh, talk right. about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can't say you forgive someone and when they ask you for something, you come out and say, I ain't got it. No one is in you. You know you got it. You know you got it. You can't forgive someone when they say, look, if you could uh, do a favor for me, I, I promise, I, you know, I ain't got it right now, but all I need is some bread or, or some butter, and you got it right in your fridge, dear. Wow. You got it. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. That's it. So you know you can't, there's no way you are connected to the vine, connected to Jesus Christ, have that kind of intimacy with him, and do not do what he tells you to do. He says, love those the way you love yourself. So do you love yourself in order to forgive the way Jesus forgives? Another thing is, you can exercise self-control yes, yes, yes. when you're confronted with stressful situations and temptations yeah. with God's strength. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm a witness. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen, amen. You can have self-control yes. when you're constantly seeking Jesus. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. His righteousness. His righteousness. His righteousness. His righteousness. Not yours. His righteousness. You can have self-control. You can turn around and bite that tongue. You know, you know people say, swallow your pride. Yes, yes, yes. You can do that when you are constantly in relationship. When you're constantly spending If you abide in me, mm -hmm. 
and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father's glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Amen. When a vine bears much fruit, God is glorified. Yeah. For daily he sent the sunshine, the rain, to make the crops grow. And constantly he nurtured each tiny plant to prepare it to blossom. What a moment of glory to God. When the harvest is brought into the barns, matured and ready for use. This farming analogy shows how God is glorified when people come into a right relationship with him and begin to bear much fruit. Because I'm telling you, when you are connected to the vine and you begin to mature in him, you will bear fruit. Hallelujah. You will, because the more that you bear, um, um, the more you stay connected to the vine, the more you, uh, that relationship between you and Jesus will begin to grow and mature in each other. And things that you used to do, you won't do no more, because they don't taste right anymore. So you begin to love what Jesus loves and do what Jesus do and think the way Jesus thinks. Hallelujah. So, in my closing, I want you to think about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. As God the Father continues to prune you in this life, may that all important connection produce great fruit of faith and thanksgiving while you're connected to the vine. Yeah. So take the time out and ask yourself, am I truly connected? Am I truly connected to the one that's given me life? That's it. Because you know, when, when you're connected, you, God gave me this little demonstration. When you're connected to the vine, you are constantly following him. Wherever he goes, you, you're following him because you want to know what he wants you to do. You want to know how he wants you to do it. You want to know when you want me to do it. But when you turn around and do this, and do what you want to do, and say what you want to say, you're not connected. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Get connected. Amen. Amen.